Hi everyone, my name is Tejesh. I'm the co-founder of DataMeet. Uh, DataMeet is a community of uh, data enthusiasts from all over India who work mostly in uh, open data and related fields. We have community members from both uh, government, profit, non-profit and all kinds of sectors. Today I'm going to take you through some of the work we have been doing with COVID-19. Uh, ever since the COVID-19 hit India, uh, we have been trying to archive and collect the data um, around COVID-19 uh, in India. We have been working majorly with uh, three sets of data. The first one is, uh, okay, even before we go that uh, you should uh, bookmark this URL. Uh, project or uh, dynamite.org COVID-19. This is our home page for the project and everything related to this project and data related to this project is uh, listed on this page. Uh, we have mainly three data sets. I'll take you through all three. The first one being Ministry of Health and uh, Family Welfare. This is the data set published by Ministry of health and family welfare uh, you can see the link here um, to show where the data comes from so this is where the data comes from uh, you can see that they publish uh, data probably twice a day and they publish with the date the most important part is this uh, state data which is here so this is what we collect uh, every time we get published um, I have a uh, archiver which goes and archives this data uh, every time it gets published and then formats and presents the data in a JSON format. Uh, we have given an example JSON format here. If you want to see all the data we have captured until now, you can go to this uh, MFW, uh, MOHFW backup folder. Uh, on our github account so you can see there are so many html files every time we archive we actually store the html file so it's actually uh, dated uh, with the date uh, named with the date and time um, you keep a copy of it so that if you want to refer back and do other kind of work with it later anyway once we actually scrape this uh, this data we convert it into this kind of JSON format, uh, which you can uh, see it in this the folder data folder. So here is the data folder. Uh, the data actually that specific data goes into MOHFW. Uh, so you can go explore it, and it also goes into all total and total confirmed cases. These three are the past data. What the main data is uh, this one. So for every state, uh, we capture the data. Here is the whole every state. Uh, let me show it to you in a uh, um, formatted way. So you can see that uh, each row belongs to one set and one uh, report. For example, this uh, is the same data format. So each uh, row in this uh, in this uh, JSON has these columns: state, confirmed India, confirmed foreign, cure, death, source. Uh, type and confirmed. So let's go to one of the latest uh, rows. And in the top, you could see that how many rows are uh, there and stuff like that. So go to the thing, you can see there are 134 rows until now. Let me go to the bottom of it. Just start 
trying to get the latest just going to remove extra uh, JSON things okay here is the record so the ID is actually date and the state piped by state it's the same as a key but what matters to you is this so there will be one unique row for every date or actually a timestamp uh, and a state for example this is a row for West Bengal on 3rd of April 8 p.m. record and uh, report time actually will also be same confirmed is 63 cured is 3 and deaths are 3 uh, this is Bengal this is the same thing 63 is 3 and 3 this is same 63 3 and 3 so in some of the things there is a uh, foreign uh, they used to publish this confirmed foreign um, if they publish that it is there and if they published confirm India it is there uh, as a separate item if not there will be a one whole uh, addition of both of them called confirmed together so this is how the data looks like uh, for that but you can go here and we also do some aggregations which is um, like every for every report the total thing mm. This row. Uh, this is not one. All total. So total confirmed. Total confirmed actually gives you the whole total. That's two seven two four seven three two two six eight and stuff like that. And all totals JSON uh, will will come. It will give you each category wise uh, total. For example, the date stamp of, of which report it is what is the total confirmed cases what is the active cases what is the cured cases death cases and total um, i mean this is the next day's total confirmed cases so there are like uh, four values for each report which could be in the dashboard so if you see one of our usages like i had just done a simple uh, simple view of the same thing on my website uh, so that this whole uh, chart uh, comes from that so there is this total confirmed you know which is a sum of this and this or the this is uh, active cured and death and total confirmed so you can see here that it is as per uh, today 9 a.m uh, archive data so and there are other people who have done other kinds of visualizations uh, like for example let's go and see what other people have done oh it come back and see it it's taking time to load there you go this is somebody has done some state wise graphs and stuff like that for using the same data uh, somebody has done a chloropath map of the same thing uh, using the same data you can see it's uh, data from a much of your data meet and they've done the chloropath map it's quite interesting usage of data it's for Kerala for example and they've done internally what's like it in the state how it's how it's uh, performing or faring rather at this point uh, let's go back oh this is another one i think uh, done by someone else uh, done by i think anoop um, i think the most interesting one would be uh, that of india Take a while to open. 
it's still loading the data okay here it is the cumulative cases it looks somewhat similar to my uh, my graph in the other page uh, what i've done here somewhat similar to that but he has a extra map showing the thing and other things derived out of it uh, this data also comes from as you can see from data make and image of the view uh, so there could be other people using and these are the these are the instances that i know uh, they're using the second data set is from icmr um, icmr every day uh, publishes uh, what's the number of tests done and how many have been confirmed uh, so initially they used to actually uh, add another uh, attribute called individuals so basically there would be report time when the icmr publishes the report uh, total samples taken uh, how many individuals were part of that sample and total confirmed positive out of this this is for the date like 25th march uh, what we do is we also um, capture the pdfs these are the pdfs uh, as of now i've been able to capture and pass and, uh, and make it into a json record uh, there are missing ones you can go check your uh, the missing one we have some uh, records here which are missing uh, so you like from for example of 20th march 6 pm that pdf is not to be found if any of you have that pdf can you send it to me uh, it'll be great if you can send it to me anyway um, we have captured all the pdfs let's look at one of the previous ones let's say 23rd man and one of uh, today or yesterday rather so I'll open one of the old ones so you can see this is the report they used to publish where you used to publish the date uh, 23rd March 2020 8 p.m. This is the date and 08 p.m. Uh, IST and they used to publish what's the total samples and how many individuals per part of the samples. Samples could be more than the individuals because there could be cases where they can they would have taken more than one sample. And as of so this is the cumulative count as of uh, 23rd March 8 p.m. and how many until now uh, have been. Uh, confirmed positive so there must be a record corresponding to this in the in the past data let's see if that uh, so if i go back to my uh, data folder if i go back to icmr testing status so where is 23rd 8 pm so here it is 23rd 8 pm let's uh, check Here is the thing here is the report time 23rd 3 and 5 30 is this uh, this is because this is Indian time 8 p.m. is 20 hours uh, total samples taken uh, individuals and confirmed positive and source is there but this is how they used to publish but uh, recently they've changed it a bit uh, if you go to uh, last night you can see that uh, now they are publishing only total samples 69 to 85 and uh, total confirmed positive uh, they are still publishing according to what date and what time and the total samples and how many have been turned into positive they are actually now also uh, kind of uh, publishing the uh, per day count but I think if you can get the cumulative count, you can subtract the previous days, uh, same time and see how many samples were taken per day. So I think cumulative count is useful 
because that's the one which has been published from day one but the only thing missing is now we don't have or uh, these samples belong to how many individuals we have only total samples and how many have been confirmed positive so this is of 3rd April uh, so if I go to 3rd April's data um, so here it is 3rd April Format this uh, for better viewing. So I have, so I have removed that other column, individual. So it's only sampled and confirmed positive. So this is how the data looks like. Uh, if you ever want to do a, a graph of how the tests are doing versus the confirmed cases, I think uh, this will be a good data set to use. Uh, unfortunately ICMR removes the PDFs every night so we have missed some of the old ones we're still in the process of uh, collecting them uh, so here is the list of them uh, which we are missing the one without chat if you ever find them please uh, send it across to me or send me a PR I'll be very grateful uh, this is the other data set uh, now let's go check uh, our final data set which is more hard work uh, than these two this uh, one is called a like uh, non-virus deaths basically uh, due to COVID-19 there has been a lockdown in India and uh, due to lockdown there are uh, many deaths for different reasons uh, some of them have been due to hunger or starvation or deaths due to walking and um, starvation during the migration uh, deaths due to lockdown suicide and medical emergency and lockdown together and stuff like that so what we have done is we have gone through the uh, gone through the articles uh, uh, in the newspaper and uh, and then pass the data and then published it here i'll show you one of the examples have you done uh, for example uh, let me just first uh, take you through how the past data will look like uh, past data will look like you know what the type is here like non-virus stats and what is the location it will be mostly village or town district will be district name state will be state code uh, this is kerala um, incident date according to the news uh, paper what is the incident or when did this happen how many deaths were registered like some reasons for the death for example there could there was a roadblock and forest fire and hence uh, there was death and then um, the what is the news URL from where we got this information and when it got published first what we do is we have a set of uh, uh, records which we receive from people either on Twitter or on this form uh, you can also submit using this form this form is here you can just you know report an incident how like type of incident like for example hunger death or whatever and then uh, how many people were affected and what is the URL which you are referring to us to have a look once you submit what we do is either one of us Kanika Amun or Tejesh which is me uh, we'll go through that, verify it, validate, and then add it to a record. And we actually have a lot of columns, but we expose few columns to uh, public to explore the data. And I have like almost every day, I upload a sheet here into our data folder, uh, into the folder, just to uh, just as a raw data. This is not. This is actually passed, but this is not uploaded into our JSON data folder yet. So here you can see like uh, the columns. These are the public columns which we expose uh, for anyone to use. Uh, let's take one of them, for example, from here. Oh, this is a lot of records. 
okay for example one of them is agra uttar pradesh and or um, here uh, let me open our english one to make it easy So this is a report on Times of India where they reported due to lockdown a man dies after walking 200 kilometers from Agra, Delhi. So we kind of know what is the date of report which is 28, 20, 2020, 28 March 2020 and the URL of the report. And we kind of know that 39 year old was, uh, was died because of this unfortunate uh, walking back uh, uh, while walking back to Agra from Delhi so it's kind of a migration and, and like you know tiredness so that's what we all had it here Agra Agra Uttar Pradesh 28 exhaustion while migration that's the reason for that and then here is the thing uh, it's the same data is available in JSON format so if you go to our COVID-19 data and if you go to uh, non-virus deaths uh, you can see a format of data here i can actually uh, pick up one of the roads and show it to you like for example this the last row okay uh, let's check so um here is the uh, record which is similar columns that I showed you before uh, the location is here it's district is like very confusing in this case so we put both between Anantnagar and Ramban and state is JNK when this incident happened how many deaths uh, buried under snow due to roadblock and migration uh, we can go back to this article hmm and actually just see why you how, how it happened so it happened on april 2nd 2020 uh, the tunnel was blocked due to lockdown and people had to walk through the mountain and uh, they got killed uh, on the way which is an unfortunate event uh, just happened um, what i've done is i've also done uh, oh, a page where you can explore the data also um, the same data uh, in a more uh, tabular format that you can explore and you can see a graph of growing deaths uh, which is unfortunate and you can search here for example uh, I will search for star uh, so starvation deaths for example uh, or you can say um, roadblock so there are a lot of roadblock and medical emergency roadblocks and stuff like that so uh, you can see all of them and in the table it has multiple pages so you can go to multiple pages and see the records this is uh, quite an unfortunate uh, si uh, major effect of uh, lockdown uh, which we are uh, recording so the same thing can be seen here too so these are the three uh, huge data sets that we are working on uh, mostly by the community there is one more project which we are working on i'll uh, soon add it into it uh, as soon as we get uh, some kind of documentation then that is uh, covid indian state report uh, it was initially maintained by a data meet volunteer or a volunteer called aditya Dhar. Now he has contributed that back to data meet community i think he he used to maintain it individually now he has contributed back uh, not back to contributed it to uh, data meet so that uh, we can and the community can use it and maintain it as well so the burden is not on him alone to maintain it so uh, these are state level reports and like all kinds of things i'm yet to go through it uh, 
we are still manually downloading this so uh, any help with respect to this uh, will be of great help uh, uh, we are still manually downloading it. I've not gotten around to pass it or see what the PDFs contain and stuff like that. So this is another major project which we are yet to add it here. I think once I get a chance to go through it, automate it and pass some data or make a listing of all that, I will add it here as part of this. So you can all use, of, use it. So the uh, these are the data sets available on datamate like you know as you know we are an open community uh, anyone can contribute and anyone can use it as long as you use it for good reasons um and uh, credit back the datamate community and you know be nice to people in general i think as we at datamate say just be nice to people um and then uh there's a page on how do you contribute and if you find any issues, report an issue or send a PR. Uh, this is, um, that is all about the data meet, uh, data set. Uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, uh, you can send me a mail uh, or you can just contact me on the contact form on my webpage or at the uh, page at data meet. I am, uh, I'm happy to answer any of your questions or uh, if you have any doubt or uh, if you don't want to do any of those these things you want to contact on the page you are open um, to raise a new issue on the page here I'll be more than happy to uh, uh, answer your questions there there is also uh, you know the whole uh, whole thing gets discussed on the email list uh, I just want to show you the email list so you can talk to us there. Just hold on a second. Okay, okay. Oh, by the way, this is our website. Oh, yeah, it's a website. So here is our discussion group uh, on uh, on Google Groups. You can join it and uh, and uh, add uh, any comments or discuss around the things. You can see there are huge chains going around the data sets we are talking about uh, you're more than welcome to join and participate uh, thank you so much uh, bye bye